One of the things, again, that we have to always address when we are uh, selecting tools, uh, when we are selecting tests in personal injury cases is response style. And when I say response style, we're talking about whether the person is exaggerating, feigning, malingering, or being inconsistent in their responses in some way. In other words, how are they responding to the test? Um, and um, uh, many of our tests now uh, do have good, reliable scales that have been tested with personal injury cases, and so we are in good shape in using those kinds of, of scales and addressing whether the person is being trustworthy and honest and straightforward in responding to the psychological test and basically in responding to uh, the uh, uh, personal injury evaluation in general. So before I go on though, I want to look at these three terms, malingering, exaggeration, and uh, a feigning, because they are different. When we're talking about malingering, we're talking about a conscious attempt uh, to fake in a way so that they get some sort of incentive. The uh, Diagnostic and Statistical Manual, for example, our Diagnostic and Statistical Manual now by the American Psychiatric Association, defines malingering as the intentional, notice the intentional now, production of false or grossly exaggerated physical or psychological symptoms motivated by, motivated by external incentives. So this is a conscious effort to fake symptoms in order to get something, to get payment, to get rewards of some something uh, of some of some kind. So malingering always in includes a conscious a, a, a conscious process. Then there's exaggeration, which may or may not be conscious. Uh, and uh, we'll talk about uh, assessing pain here in, in a little while. But many pain patients will exaggerate their symptoms uh, because they romanticize what it was like before uh, they experienced their intense pain or traumatic event that led to their pain. And so they're not necessarily conscious about that. They're simply romanticizing, or they can be romanticizing uh, um, a, a time of their life uh, when they, they remember not being in pain. They still exaggerate their symptoms, but the question of, of whether they're conscious in doing so uh, is, uh, is important. Then there's feigning symptoms, again, which may or may not be conscious, but a lot of times feigning symptoms, um, uh, when you talk about feigning, you're not talking about some kind of conscious reward. And we'll talk about factitious disorders here in just a little bit, and how to sort those out from uh, malingering disorders. But in factitious disorders, you have people that are feigning symptoms in order to get the attention of medical personnel or psychological personnel or care personnel in some, in, in some way. So they have that need and it in fact generally is not a conscious process. And uh, so the three concepts of malingering, which always is conscious and is an exaggeration of symptoms, exaggeration, which is a little bit different, which is not necessarily conscious, uh, but which is not necessarily also directed toward uh, getting some kind of financial reward or obvious reward, and then feigning, which can be totally unconscious, and, uh, and the reward does not necessarily be the same as in malingering. Those are three different kinds of concepts, and so it's important to kind of sort those out when you do a personal injury evaluation.